Good morning. Hello, hello. Today is Tuesday and I'm happy that you're here with me. We are going to learn our final two tricky words today. Then we're going to review some of the other words that we have learned and we're going to review some skills that we've learned by doing a chaining activity today. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first tricky word is this word right here. Okay, the word is my. Many of you know this word already. You should know this word already. And in this word, you see the M says mmm, like we expect it to, but the Y says I, which is different. In this case, the Y is behaving like a vowel. What vowel do you think the letter Y is behaving like if the word is my? Let's break down the sounds. M, I. What vowel sound did you hear there? The vowel sound for the letter I, but we don't spell it with an M and an I. We spell it with an M and a Y, which is why it's a tricky word, okay? So, the word is my. Can you use the word my in a sentence? I could say my daughter is graduating this week. I could say my husband lives here with me. I could say my friend likes to ride his bike. The word is my. Spell it with me please. M-Y. And let's read the word again. My. What's the word? My. This is the word my. Okay. We're also going to learn the word are. The word are. This doesn't sound really anything like the way that it's spelled. We don't really hear the A in the way that we normally do and we don't really hear the E. It's not a CVCE word where the E would make the A say A. It's the word are which is why it's tricky. It's just one of those words that you have to learn. You have to memorize what it looks like and to be able to read it without sounding it out, okay? The word is R. What's the word? R. Let's spell it. A-R-E spells R, okay? So we have the word my and we have the word R. Those are our two new words. Let me erase these off of the board. So our two new words are my and are. Okay, we're going to review them and we're going to review the rest of the tricky words that we've learned. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. This is getting to be a thick stack here. We've learned a lot of words. We have they. Read with me. They there, I, a, the, one, the number one, all, word, When, are you reading with me? To, from, of, which, what, no, So, where, why, says, said, once, were, 
here. There. My. And R. Good job. Okay, so next we're going to do a chaining activity. So you're going to need pencil and paper or a dry erase marker and a board. So go ahead and get that so we can do a chaining activity. All of these words that we're going to do have the vowel consonant E. Okay, so it's going to be a consonant, a vowel, a consonant E. Maybe it's I, E. Maybe it's A. E, but this is how the long vowel is going to be spelled in each of these words. Okay, let me erase this part and let's go ahead and get started. The first word we're going to do is the word file. File. Sound it out with me. File. File. Go ahead and spell it and then Miss Hales will write it. File. Where the E makes the I say I. Do you see that? That's how they're all going to go. Now I want you to change the word file to the word pile. Break it down with me. P -ile. Pile. Write your word. Did you spell P I L E? That's how you should have written it. Pile. Now I want you to change pile to the word pale. Pale. Break it down. P ale. Okay. Go ahead and write your word. Pale. Now I want you to change pale to male. Male. Like a boy is a male or a man is a male. M a o. Okay. And there's your word spelled M A L E. Male. Now I want you to change the word male to the word mile. Can you walk a mile? Sound it out. M a o. Mile. Go ahead and write it. Mile, spelled M-I-L-E. Okay, now we're going to change the word mile to the word Mike. Mike, the boy's name Mike. Sound it out with me. M-I-K, Mike. And I'll give you a hint. The K in this word is spelled with a K. Okay, M-I-K. Change the word Mike to the word like. Sound it out with me. Like. Like. Write your word. Did you spell it L-I-K-E? If you did, then thumbs up to you. Then I want you to change like to the word line. Line. Sound it out. Line. Line. Write your word. There's the word line. We have two more. We're going to change the word line to the word lane. Lane. The car drove in the lane. Sound it out. Lane. Lane. Write your word. All of these words our CVCE words with the magic E on the end. And the last word, I want you to change lane to the word pain. Here we go. P pain. Pain. There is your word pain. There we go. Now let's read the words that we have. We have file, pile, pale, mail, Mile, Mike, Like, Line, Lane, Pain. Good work today. Very nice. All right, now let me show you 
what you're going to do on your pod and then we'll be finished for the day. The first thing you're going to see is a bunch of words like this. Okay? I want you to take some time to read over each word a couple times. And if you'd like to read them to a grown-up, you can do that. If you'd like to try to use them in a sentence, most of them have the vowel consonant E. Okay? Some of them, like the double E here and the double E there, and down here, you have to remember that E E says E. Okay? So read over those words. They should all be words that you can read at this point in the school year. The next page that you're going to do is answering yes or no. We've done these before. You're going to read each question. Okay? So for example, number one says, Can a rake run? Can a rake run? And you'll see that A consonant E, sometimes you'll have the I consonant E, and then you just answer yes or no over there on the side. So do your best to read those sentences, make sense out of them. And then the last two pages that you'll do on Nearpod are these kinds of pages where you have your word bank at the top and the blanks for the sentences. We've been doing these a lot lately. So I'll read these words. It's they, my, and by. And then you'll read the sentence and fill in the blank. Sentence number one says, I like blank name a lot. Number two, the bike is blank the shed. And number three, the kids are sad blank can't skate. Okay. And then four, five, and six, again, the word is up top in the word bank. You're going to use one of those words to fill in each of the blanks. The words are there, he, and me. And the sentence number four says, if I chase the cat, it will be scared of blank. Number five says, the men got blank hats at that shop. And number six says, James is glad that blank can swim. So you'll do those pages and you'll hit Nearpod or you'll hit Submit. And then Miss Hales will get your work. I will see you here tomorrow where we will learn another vowel consonant E spelling. Tomorrow we'll do the spellings for the letter O. Have a great day.